ancient histories tell of 100,000 men laboring on the Great Pyramid for 20 years. Modern experts believe 25,000 workers is a more realistic estimate. The job was completed during Pharaoh Khufu's 23-year reign. The workers would have put in over a quarter of a billion man-hours. Ancient Egypt was a rich land, but for such a mammoth undertaking, the builders would have had to source materials from across the whole country. The vast granite blocks had to be floated 600 miles down the Nile from the quarries at Aswan. Keeping a pyramid build on track was a logistical nightmare that would test even a modern engineering firm. Engineer Craig Smith has overseen vast construction sites and has analyzed how a pyramid build might operate. You don't have cell phones, you don't have pagers, you don't have laptop computers, you have millions of pieces of material that have to arrive at the right point in time. Egyptian communications depended upon papyrus and foot messengers. Yet they kept track of thousands of workers and countless millions of pieces of raw material. A present-day pyramid builder would have all the benefits of modern technology available to them. Where the Egyptians probably relied on the stars to align the pyramids, we would use lasers. Where the Egyptians used simple ramps, we would use giant tower cranes to raise the blocks. Today, motorized vehicles would transport building materials to the site.